Well, I got some time to kill here. We're going to take a look at Pleasanton, Kansas, if I can find it here. Looks like it's to the right. See how pleasant it is. So cold. I got a heavier jacket in my suitcase. It was a little bit colder. I had to bring that sucker out. I have a jacket. I'm wearing a jacket, but it's uh, it's kind of a uh, medium medium weight. And I've been wearing it pretty much this whole trip, but it's pretty chilly today, and the wind's blowing too. What a nice Casey's there. Okay, this must be Pleasanton. Tucker Road, I wonder where Tucker Road goes. I really don't like that highway out there, I have to drive too fast on it. Stop the stigma, huh? What's that for? Okay, so this is must be Pleasanton. Huh. Somebody has some Greek statues out in their yard. Little park over here to the right. Everybody's got really big yards here. Okay, what's this sign say? Pleasanton. Okay, Main Street Food Service City Hall. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Truck route. This must be the Main Street here. Oh yeah, here we go. Beautiful downtown Pleasanton. FedEx, I just park wherever I want to, truck. <coughs> There's the bank. There's another bank over here. Motorcycle exhibit. Food fair, supermarket. That extra truck's probably wishing I'd get out of his way. Post office. I need the supermarket. I've got a banana, got bread. I'm getting low on Cholua, but the trip's almost over, so I don't think I'll buy any. I'll just 
survive without it. Sometimes the hotels have Cholula. Okay, I think we've been there. Well, it's down that way. Down that way. This is the old flower shop. I have one of those. Okay, I think we've seen Pleasanton. And down the road here a little ways is a Civil War battle site of some kind, I think. I might need to take a look at my map and see if I can figure out exactly where to get off the road for that. Sign about it somewhere. Let's go down here to this park. Let's see if I can pull off somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe a Casey's parking lot would work better. Oh, here's a pull off place. Okay. Turn you off now while I do some research. Okay, what I found out was this road right here, Trucker Road, will take me down to where I want to go. Just about five miles down the road, it hits another road, and on that road is a Civil War, war battle site. So we will see. If I see something pretty, I'll turn you on. Okay, so this battle site's supposed to be somewhere along this road before I get to Mound City. Looking at the Google map, which is usually wrong, looks like it's within the next mile or two. Hopefully there'll be a sign of some kind. Oh, maybe this is it here. This Mine Creek Battlefield to the left. There's a silhouette of a guy on a horse with a sword in his hand. It looks like there's a building over here. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, I got a building and everything here. I guess we'll go read this sign. I don't know if the building's open or not. Let's see. Uh, Mid-April, mid-October, we're already past middle. Or 
October, so I don't think it's open. Uh, Mine Creek Civil War Battlefield State Historic Site, Kansas Historical Society. We'll just go around here and read the sign. See what it says. All right, so there's the building. This is the site. Let's go read the sign. If you're not into history, just click off the video now. Sign says, in October 1864, a Confederate army under General Sterling Price was defeated near Kansas City. He retreated south, crossed into Kansas, and camped at Trading Post early on the morning of October 25th, which is right around this time of year. Union troops under General Pleasanton, Blunt, and Curtis forced him from his position, and a few hours later, the Battle of Mine Creek was fought over these fields. Confederate forces were thrown into confusion as they tried to cross the steep, slippery banks of the stream. In the close fighting on the bottoms, hundreds of rebel soldiers were captured, including General Marmaduke, who was taken by a 20-year-old private. Although the Union forces missed a chance to destroy Price's army, and defeat, the defeat was decisive enough to end the threat of a rebel invasion of Kansas. About 25,000 men were engaged more than any other Kansas battle. Okay. Of course, as you know, history is always written by the winners. So, if the South had written the plaque, it'd probably be differently. <laughs> but there you go. Now you know. There will not be a test.